Hi everyone, it's Miss Library and Beatrix the Book Bunny and we're back with another story. And you know what? Beatrix and I decided that we're going to be science explorers. Would you like to come with us today? Beatrix? Yeah? Is that a good idea? I think so. So get on your magic carpet. Get on your magic carpet, Beatrix. Good job. All right, you guys on your magic carpet? Good. Put your eyeballs in. Put your ears on. I can see and hear your story now, Ms. Library. Seatbelts click. Okay, guess what? Today, we're actually not going to go up. We're going to go down. What? Well, what's down there? What's down below you? What? Yes, exactly. The earth. We're going to go down into the earth. And we are looking for something special like this guy. Yeah, can you see him? We are gonna learn all about worms today. He says, hello, I can't wait. I can't wait for you to learn all about me. Hey, hey. <laughs> there he goes. See him? He's getting into the soil. So, tighten up your seatbelt. Are you ready? Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast down! Hold on! Whoa! is called the worm. See him? Oh, hi there. <laughs> and this is written by Elise Gravel. Okay, ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the worm. <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. The worm is a long animal that's shaped like a tube. It doesn't have a skeleton or a spine. It's an invertebrate. That's a really big word, isn't it? Invertebrate. It also doesn't have any legs. So what? If I had legs, huh, I'd have to buy shoes. There are many different kinds of worms. Here are some of them. The earthworm. I'm the most popular. The tapeworm. Um, yeah, I'm actually not sticky. The flatworm. The white worm. I'm called a worm, but um, I have legs. Many insects larva, like the maggot. What does that look like? A little bit like a caterpillar, huh? This is gonna be a baby fly. Some worms are so small that you need a microscope to see them, and others can be 115 feet long. Whoa. Like the ribbon worm that lives in oceans and rivers. Big worm, little worm. Oh, you're so cute. Worms can live in different habitats. Remember, a habitat is a home. Some live in the water, others live in rotting plants, some even live inside human or animal bodies. What are these worms living inside? What's that? Right, a dog. These worms are called parasites. <laughs> Look at these worms inside the dog. Hey! Pass the salt! The most common worm is the earthworm. 
An earthworm is basically a long digestive tract inside a muscle tube. It's that muscle tube that's slimy and disgusting. Hey, hey, I'm not disgusting. Sorry, you're, you're not disgusting. Worms have been on the earth for millions of years, maybe even billions. Biologists believe they evolved with the dinosaurs. Whoa, that old? Oh, back in my day, kids respected earthworms. <laughs> earthworms have no eyes, but they can sense light with something called photoreceptors. Oh, another big worm, I mean word. Sensors in the worm's skin that react to light. That's why every time if you try to take a worm out, it immediately goes back into the dirt. So they have no eyes. No eyes? Well, that can't be true. Oh, oh, I'm sure I have some eyes here, around here somewhere. Oh, oh, let me look. Earthworms move by squeezing their muscle causing their bodies to contract and expand. Oh, ah, yeah, feel this, baby. Earthworms eat rotting plants and enrich the soil by making paths, like here, see, that let air and water circulate. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, you're so welcome, madame. It's good for nature. Many kind of worms are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female reproductive organs. In other words, an earthworm is a boy and a girl at the same time. They still need a partner to reproduce, though. You look ravishing today, dear. <laughs> Earthworms might seem pretty gross, but they're really, really very useful. They recycle mother's or nature's waste and help turn it into soil. Farmers and gardeners love earthworms. I like earthworms. Look, he's driving a recycling truck. Do, 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 do. Fishermen's use, fishermen use earthworms to catch fish, and some people even eat them and find them delicious. Oh. What? Delicious? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. Ooh, ooh. No, don't eat me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. So next time you meet an earthworm, be polite, because you know what? Worms are your friends. Hey, want to play football? I wonder if you've ever been digging for worms. Let's take a look at our earth here again, our dirt here, and see if we can find some worms. Let's see if we can dig them up. Hey, worms, where are you? Ooh, they're hiding. And they're doing a pretty darn job of it. Whoops, there's one. Oh, there's one. And there's one. All right, see them wiggling around? See them? There they are. I got these from my backyard. Do you want to come with me and try to find some more worms? Let's do that. Come on with me. Let's go searching for some new, some, some other worms. I want to show you how many worms I have. I have a lot. Maybe, maybe I'd like a pet worm. Hmm. Let's see. So meet me in one second, all right? Come all right, on. Let's, let's dig for some worms. Oh, there's one right there. Hey. Let's see if we can find any others. Oh, there's one. 
Hi, Mr. Worm. There he goes back pretty quickly. Do we see any other worms in here? Well, what if we wanted one as a pet? What do you guys think about a pet worm? You could keep one for a pet as long as you fed it. You know what to feed worms? You have to feed them maybe some leaves, maybe some vegetables, maybe some eggshells. This guy goes. Ooh, some squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch. Ooh, he's pretty quick.